euros. And I shouldn't say point, because in Europe, they use a comma. So we're going to go ahead and open this bad boy. I think I gave away the secret, but this is the Couch Master. And the Couch Master is intended to be the ultimate gaming station designed to be used on your couch by masters. Uh, right here is a USB 3 5 meter active extension cable repeater. That's actually the awesomest thing ever, especially because it's USB 3, which means that you can plug this into a hub and you'll have full speed with no signal degradation at like 5 meters, which for you Yanks out there is 15 feet, um, which is friggin' awesome. This is a big old thick cable. That's like, that's worth the value of like, um, at least a few dollars right there. I wonder if that was on their itemized list. All right. So th we got the orange one. There's a bunch of different colors, red, uh, whatever that is, black, blue, green, yellow, orange, purple. And they say, Worst nicht attention, nicht schneiden, don't cut. So I don't know what accent that was, but I was trying really hard to make it a good one. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cut, but we're just going to be really careful about the way that we cut the tape. All right. Find out what's inside here. This is why they don't want you to just kind of dig in there with the knife, because that is the couch master itself right there. So we're going to, again, be very, very careful with our knife, just cutting the packing tape and not going any deeper than that. And it looks like it comes in a sort of wide variety of different pieces here, all of which are helpfully uh, valued at a particular value, and I'm running out of things to say about it. So why don't I explain a little bit about what you'd want to use this for. So if you are the ultimate anti-console gamer, and you insist on using a PC, whether it's for your sort of big screen, what is it called, big screen, valves thing, big screen, big box, I don't know, big something, Big gaming, big picture, that's the one. Big picture gaming experience, whether you want to use it with those optimized games with a controller, or whether you actually want to sit on your couch with a mouse and keyboard and play hardcore PC titles, um, this will pretty much allow you to do it. So guys, I'm not going to take away any of the unpacking experience from this video. I want you to experience the whole thing because from what I can see so far, it is going to be quite a treat to, uh, to reveal sort of every... Look at that, they include two active extension cables. They want you to have the true pure PC gaming experience where you do not, as a PC gamer, have to use a hub. You are going to use a dedicated damn cable for your mouse and a dedicated damn cable for your keyboard. And that is the way it's going to be. And Slick's point three? No, this is something else. Oh, they include a hub too. They include a four port USB 3 hub. Okay, so at your desk, <laughs> you will have, <laughs> I mean, this is just ludicrous. So you'll have a hub and you'll have two full five gigabit per second connections. All right, so this right here is a little pocket for uh, putting, hanging your mouse in. I believe it's also used for cable management or something like that. Although I'll have to double check what exactly they want that pocket to be used for. They also include an ample supply of Velcro tape. So this is like a double-sided uh, tape Velcro thing. So you can go ahead and uh, get everything all stuck together real good. They've got a bunch of cushions. So these are uh, uh, wrist cushions that you can go ahead and position wherever you want. You can stick them down however you want. You've got a few of those. And these right here are the main cushions themselves. So we're obviously not going to be able to finish this video here since I clearly don't have an adequate couch. But basically the couch master sits on either side of you with a table that goes across the entire top. These are soft. Like These are supple cushions. Check this out. Let's see if he hits me back. No, he's not going to do it. He's not going to do it. Okay, so uh, here, I actually have no idea where my switcher is between the two cameras, but I'll let, I'll let Diesel have some fun with his camera for a change here. Well, I show you guys the, uh, the surface itself that actually, here we go. Oh, okay. So there's some cable management compartment action going on down there. So this thing's friggin' awesome. This is like a geek's wet dream here. So it's got, ah, here. Whoops. 
Okay, I, I popped that out, but there's cable management holes that come through the top. There's actually four of them. And then you can go ahead and either leave them in or take them out. Then you've got these little spots. Okay, well, that's not staying in for me there, but let's go ahead and sort of... Is there, like, is there like an angle that it goes in at? Yeah, there, that's a thing. Okay, so then you manage the cables here. Then when you're done managing the cables, you close up that bottom compartment like that. Then you have cable management holes on the other side. Two more cable management holes here that you can go ahead and cover up with another compartment made out of a stiff material. Feels like, uh, feels like some sort of particle board or something like that. Not too heavy or anything, though. And then this guy right here seems to be... Oh, I don't think you're supposed to peel that up. That's not really a thing. Okay, so the angle of it is such that it is inclined for optimal PC sort of keyboard and mouse use. So you can see it has a, a, bit, of a, a bit of a slope to it. So you can go ahead and you stick down your wrist rests so that you can comfortably use your keyboard and mouse. Guys, we've got to set this up on the couch. We'll, we're going to have to, we're going to be back. This is amazing. So just for the lols, we had to set up the couch master in its... Uh, native environment so I've got my media PC over there we actually only had to run one of the active USB 3 cables so I'm just running that to the keyboard itself and then I'm running the G9 mouse off of the keyboard since I happen to already have wireless headphones um, I mean honestly though if I'm gonna play on a media PC I might as well you know use my full-size speakers in this case, I'm just playing Audio Surf, so we could, uh, we could easily run other games, but honestly, my media PC is kind of anemic. It's optimized more for silence versus uh, being optimized for sheer horsepower. But uh, when I'm done playing video games here, which is going to be at the end of my... Actually, you know what? I already hit a wall anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to show you guys how we did get it set up for optimal use here. So number one is I'd like to show you guys the convenient baby pouch here on your lap where you can have your baby sitting with you while you play video games. Um, second, I'd like to show you guys how we did set up the Velcro. So we made it so that you can kind of disassemble it, but you can also get the Couch Master set up really, really quickly with the wrist rests. The wrist rests are extremely comfortable. So what you do is you, when you want to get degearified, uh, you can see the keyboard and all the wrist rests are actually Velcroed down. If I had a hard mouse pad, I would probably also Velcro down the mouse pad itself so I could take the whole thing and lift it off me. It's got some heft to it because it does use wood for the construction. If I want to put my mouse away though, uh, oh, did you guys take that off? Oh, Slick apparently took off the, see, there's a, this is a mouse pouch. So you just go ahead and tuck your mouse in there so it doesn't get scratched or lost or whatever else. And then you can clip it to the front of the Couch Master right here. Um, I'm not going to sort of work too hard at this though. Honestly, I don't know that the, well, no, actually I'd probably use that for when I put the Couch Master away. It's the kind of thing that like when your great aunt comes to visit, you don't necessarily want to have it sitting on your couch. Not, not that I'm saying you should be embarrassed to be nerdy enough to have a Couch Master. I'm just saying that your great aunt probably doesn't need to know about it. So cable management wise on the bottom, there's plenty of room for that uh, USB 3.0 hub that's included, as well as the active cables and whatever else. Not only that, but aside from the four cable management holes that allow you to run wires up to the top of the unit, there's also a pass-through right here. So you can actually go between the two compartments, giving you a ton of flexibility in terms of cable management space. And even these covers here are extremely rugged made out of some kind of wood with like a pleathery coating on top of them. It looks like a laminate, actually looks like a laminate floorboard, to be perfectly honest. I'm not sure what they actually made it out of, but, uh, but there you go. Uh, very comfortable, very comfortable overall. I've seen demos on their site of it being used on the armrests, but I'd say it's actually best used on a couch as opposed to on an easy chair with these cushions on the armrests. I guess what you could also do, though if you had two cushions that were close together, is you could just use the board itself because uh, we, were, we were discussing this off camera. The cushions aren't really where the magic happens. I mean, yeah, you've got your integrated drink holder doodad or whatever else you want to put in there, but you can buy a cushion like this at sort of any furniture store. The magic piece is this guy with the correctly inclined piece here, the integrated cable management, as well as the, well, mostly that, the, inter the sturdy construction, the wrist rests. Is the Couch Master worth your money? I guess it depends on how much time you expect to spend sort of playing video games on the couch with a keyboard and mouse versus using a controller. 
Um, if it was me, I definitely prefer a controller to a keyboard and mouse. I was even talking to Slick about whether or not you could potentially hook up like a racing wheel to this thing. It's quite well built. So we haven't tried it, of course, but uh, hey, there's options there as well. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first impressions of the Couchmaster. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.